guys, Gadget Check here, back with another video. This time I'm gonna show you how to run Android 4.3 or CyanogenMod Mod 10.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S4 i9 500, which is the Octa-Core version. This unofficial ROM has been compiled by Doga. Yes, it's unofficial, so it's not a daily driver, but it gives you 4.3 on your i9 500. As far as now, Alpha 20 is the latest version. So let's download these. All the download links and the link to the forum will be given in the video description. Please feel free to check them. I've already downloaded these two files on my desktop. So as you can see, it's right there. Connect your phone to the PC and copy these files into the internal SD card of your phone as I'm showing right here. As you can see, it's my S4 that's connected and you can see both the files there in the internal storage. Once this is done, we can get to the device itself. So this is my Samsung Galaxy S4 or the Octa-Core i9 500. It is running Samsung's native TouchWiz UI interface. So there you see the model number is i9500, Android version 4.2.2, which is the latest version, which is provided by Samsung themselves. Uh, this phone is running a build number of BMG1. So to flash CyanogenMod 10.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S4, you need to reboot into the recovery mode of the phone itself. To do that, you need to press and hold the power button, the home button, and the volume rocker up button till the screen turns off. When you see the Samsung Galaxy S4 logo, take your hands off the power button like I'm showing in the video. Keep your hands pressed on the home button and the volume rocker up button till you see the recovery mode, uh, which takes some time by the way. Now we have rebooted into a custom recovery for the Samsung Galaxy S4. If you don't know how to get a custom recovery or clockwork mode recovery, I have another video explaining the procedure itself. We need to do a data slash factory reset. So use the volume rocker to navigate to data slash factory, then use the power button to select it. Uh, go to yes and select it using the power button and let it format the data, cache, etc. Uh, takes some time by the way. Once this is done, we need to wipe cache partition. Same procedure, use the volume rocker and then the power button to check it. Now choose install zip from SD card, choose zip zero slash and then navigate to the CMI9500 file. You need to flash this first. So click on it, click the power button, then yes and then the power button and it should start installing the update. This takes some time, so I'm just gonna speed up the video. Uh, once that is done, you need to again choose SIP from SD card and then go into uh, zero slash and then select the G apps fold. Hit yes to install and it's gonna take some time for it to install. Once this is done, go back again and then reboot system now. The reboot of the system is gonna take anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes. So please be patient in this time. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna fast forward this clip. Uh, and also remember, this is an unofficial build of CM 10.2. So there are gonna be certain bugs, like the camera still doesn't function properly. But yeah, it will be fixed in future when the official update comes out. So here's the welcome screen. Uh, English United States, let's click start, then uh, select Wi-Fi. I don't want to connect to Wi-Fi, so I'll skip uh, Skip anyways. But if you want, you can connect it to Wi-Fi, but normally connecting takes some time. Uh, do you got Google right now? I don't want to do this, not now. Next, uh, not now, next. And uh, next again, and yep, there you go. Installation has been completed, and there is your 4.3 screen. Let's go to system settings. Uh, about phone and you can see right now that it's running the latest unofficial signage mod update so let's see the version just click the version number a couple of times and you can see it's 10.2 and 4. Android 4.3 and you can see it's Android version 4.3 and there is a 4.3 jelly bean animation so like I said earlier guys this is unofficial CM 10.2 and it is kind of rusty and there are many bugs, but it's on the i9-500, the octa-core version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. What else could you ask for? Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.